I'm Coa Smith, professional surfer, dreamer, and coffee maker. And we're in my underground lair, and I'm about to unbox some cool stuff. While we've been on lockdown, I've been scrolling the web watching all these crazy unboxing videos, and I realized there are no videos about surf products or anything that I'm truly interested in. I'm a curious guy, so along the way, I want to try some things that naturally fit into my lifestyle. Let me tell you about the ranking system. We're doing one to five shakas with little .5 shaka increments. We are here in Hawaii, so that's how we're doing it. When I knew I was doing an unboxing and review show, the first thing I did was call Paisel. Paisel, it's Koa. No, the other Koa. I need a fun board. That's gonna get me psyched to go surfing. It's gonna make me go fast. Can we do this? Is this possible? I'm lying, I texted him. And he delivered. And today on show number one, we're gonna be unboxing the Paisel Magic Board and see if it works. And if it doesn't, remember, it's always the shaper, not the surfer, right? They say good things come in small packages, but really good things come in bigger packages. And I am very excited about this guy right here. It could be John Pizel himself. Getting a new surfboard, whew, it's like getting a magic carpet. It could be that board that's made for you. The best board you've ever had. <laughs> More packages. How's it going? Koa? Oh, sick. Packages just keep on raining in. I like to just use my hands if possible. No cushion, just raw, beautiful, Fiberglass. This is an Astro Pop. This is a 5'4, 19 and a quarter, 2 and a quarter, 25.9 volume. So, this is a condensed version of the best board ever, potentially. Oh, oh, it's got a little retro color vibe to it. Little Sunrise Shack Sunset. Weird little lines that remind you to go quick. It's got like a little weird beak nose to it. She's light, she's solid, she's fast. She looks so fun. The waves are pumping right now. We got a four fin set up in here. Let's go. getting up there. I felt like I was an astro pop. I think a three fin might be a little bit of a better call, but it's super fast, fun. I like to explain boards and noises. I'm gonna switch the fins and then uh, go catch a couple more. Tri-fin all the way. I just feel like the way the board is shaped, it's like meant for tri-fin, but felt like way more power off the bottom. Just build up. There's no way I could feel that little bump back there, but the board is super fun, so maybe it's due to the little bump right here. I don't know. Paisel, what do you think? I really like it. It's super fun. Just like I didn't have to try super hard on my maneuvers. A lot of speed off the bottom. Man, if you put me in the shaping room to shape the board, I don't even know what I would do. I don't know what makes what happen. I do know what it feels like when it responds well. That's for sure. It feels like, what bang what pow Yeah, I'm stoked on it. I like the little beak nose too. It hides like a little extra foam all the way up here. There's a little secret little beak. A little duck bill, but platypus. Astro Pop just popped my mind. Thank you, Paisel. I'll give you five shakas all the way up the scale. This board is so sick. I can't wait to surf it again. It made me a better surfer.
This next big box that we're about to open up, I've seen them before, I've never ridden one before. My mind is blown that you can even ride it. So let's check this thing out. Net weight, 1.2 kilograms. I have no idea what that is in pounds, but it felt pretty heavy. I didn't bring a box cutter. Stab it left. Yeah. The old handy pen. Ooh, a full box inside a box. Oh my god. It looks like a power drill or a circular saw, maybe? What does that say? Pint. This is a one wheel. Ooh. Life is about to get more awesome. I like that. Whoa. See, this thing blows my mind. Like, how do you ride this? Meet your front foot pad. The front foot pad has two zones, one on each side of the three dots. So I guess there's three dots right here. These two zones make up one wheel's rider detection area. I hope this thing's charged, because I want to ride it right now. I'm just going to rip this off. We'll read it after. It's right here, just in case, OK? I guess a full charge, you can ride up to 12 to 18 miles, which is pretty far. That sounds exhausting. You can go to Hollyva and back from Poopy Camp. This is crazy. I feel like this is going to be like foiling on land. This thing looks like an alien spacecraft, so I should probably just read up on it a little bit. Always wear a helmet. I got my gaff surf helmet here. We'll just put that on, just in case. Slowly lean back and the board will disengage and you can lower the tail to the ground. You can also jump off with both feet. Never remove only one foot. Oh, there's a centipede on my board. <laughs> this thing's pretty heavy, but it's got this like super handy little handle. Handy handle. I never wear them, I never use them. I'm a barefoot bandit. Look at these freaking gecko toes. So I'm gonna protect my surfer feet. Am I doing this right? A little onshore wind for my one wheel session here. Now let's turn the one wheel on. I'm gonna hold that. Do you just go now? Okay. Quarter tank. Okay, it's blue. All right, baby. Are you ready? I think so. Okay. Whoa! See you later. Bye. Have fun. Woo! Oh. How do you turn? Oh my God! Backside barrel. Woo! This is fun. Whoa! This used to be my mode of transport, but not anymore. Start trusting it. You can learn it really quickly, and now I feel like I'm surfing. This is a new trick I've been working on. It's called the double whammy. K Nui. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Told you guys I'd wipe out. It's good to get it out of the way. One, two, three, four, five. Shotgun. Ladies and gentlemen. The one wheel gets a five Shaka rating! Woo! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm just gonna keep practicing, keep riding this around. I'm psyched. Bye! Yeah, this is just such a cool design. I can't believe they came up with this. And it's so sensitive, so it almost feels like an extension of your body as if you were running or walking or something like that. Like one little movement, it's answering to that. Now, figuring out the dismount and the mounting be a little tricky, a little learning curve, but once you get that, I think you're flying all the way home. I mean, I was having so much fun. Overall, this is an amazing tool, and I'm excited for it to bring me some happiness the next couple days. We had a lot of fun. I feel like a little kid on Christmas. We wanna hear from you. What should I unbox next? What do you want me to break down? What do you want me to try? Because I'm down for pretty much anything. Stay tuned, we got a lot more unboxing coming your way. On this show, we love to share the stoke. So some of the items I unbox will be donated to the North Shore Community Land Trust. The items will potentially be available at their annual auction, which raises funds to help them protect and enhance the natural landscapes, cultural heritage, and rural character of the North Shore. Do you like that? Well, if so, subscribe over there and then watch more videos over there and then tell us your favorite videos down there.
It's a three-step process. Do them all now.